Greetings to all and welcome to this other exciting video on uh, how to make your life, your life simple, easier and uh, better, faster in uh, Oracle Apex. In the last video, we started creating a wizard in the form of a step-by-step -step set of three pages. But we did not really put any activity behind those three pages. In this video, we will put the necessary activities behind those each of those three pages. We assume that you are currently in Apex and uh, this is what you are seeing. So we can go to Apex Builder. Once in Apex Builder, we'll choose the app in which we have been working on, which is CM Sub 2. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see the three steps that we are trying to implement. Step one, step two, and step three. If we go back to our initial design, we say that in step one, the user will be able to choose a lecturer ID based on what appears in this view. In step two, the user will be able to choose a course ID based on the content of this view. And in step three, the user will be able to insert a new record based on what he would have chosen, he or she would have chosen from the first step and the second step. And uh, it is in that step three that uh, this code would have to be implemented behind the scenes. Let's go back to our Apex and start to implement this activities starting with step one page 20 you would have seen that apex decided to take page 22 as the last step so i have also modified slightly our code to make sure that it is addressing page 22. let's go back to apex we are now in Apex, and we are interested in the first step. I click on step one. In step one, we want to allow the user to choose which lecturer ID. So I am going to choose here, step one. When I am in step one, please follow my cursor. I'm going to the right. Can you see the type of identification? It is a written list. I don't want a list. I want it to be an interactive report because this is how I can get a view. The report is complaining because the report is asking from which table of view. So we want a lecturer ID. I'm going to choose, I clicked here table name which one we want to view so i clicked on view we say i want an lid lecturer L is this one lecturer details with lid the one that i created very very good then i think that is sort out we can now save from there, where do we go? We are just going back to the next page. I'm going back to the application and choose step two to choose a course. Click on step two. And this time we want to allow the user to choose the CID from, I'm clicking choose a course and I am going there again to see which course is it. And we will see that we want the interactive report 
in the interactive report, we need to choose the necessary view to choose a course. I go to view and in view, I will see course details is the view that can allow me to choose a course and I'm going to save it. I think we are ready. What are you left with? Step three. So I'm going back to the application. Once I am in the application, I'll go to step three. In step three, yes, I am going to assign a course to a lecturer. What type of identification is it? It is not a report. That one we want to, to be a form because we want to create. We want to create a, a, a record. Okay, where do we want to create? We want to recreate that record in the table lecturers courses. So I'm clicking on lecturers courses and indeed you can see those are P22. Very, very good. We are going to code, please your attention, the button finish. In the button finish, we go up and we choose at this level, we need to put a new process after submit, right click, create a process. Once we have clicked there, it's asking for a code. So we are going to click here to give a code. I'm going to collect the code that we have already written. And I'm simply going to copy it, go back to Apex and paste the code. The course is being pasted. What is the code doing? It's taking those values and just inserting it in the table lecturers courses. Can we validate it? Is it green? Yes. Validation successful. We will put a, go back to the a small message. We put a small message here to say record created or assigned. I don't know. Okay. We will say not record. We will say course. successfully assigned. Very good. Then I can save everything. Thank you. We are left with testing it and see how does it work. We thank you.